It is officially cucumber time once again. And the question becomes, how do we stop these things from getting so bitter? And that's what we're gonna talk about here in today's video. Cucumbers are a part of a family that has a chemical called cucurbitacin. So cucurbitacin is what makes your cucumbers bitter. And if you were to eat the stems, the petioles, the tendrils, or the leaves, I'd be able to identify this taste as the bitter taste that we sometimes get on our cucumbers. This chemical is a survival chemical that helps our poor cucumbers stay away from predators by making them taste bitter. Classically speaking, it doesn't make its way into the cucumber until some very specific environmental factors take place. But before we get into how to prevent those chemicals from leaching into the physical cucumber itself, let's talk about how we can just altogether prevent it right off from the get-go. So first thing you want to do is actually get a cucumber that is burpless right from the get-go when it comes to seeds. These burpless varieties were actually bred to have less of that bitter chemical in the plant overall. Now, the reason why they call them burpless is actually because of what cucumbers that contain a really high level of that bitter taste or chemical does to us as humans, and that is causes us to burp. <laughs> so it, that's the reasoning why it's called that. It has nothing to do with burping the cucumber it just it has to do with it what it does to us as human beings so that is one method you could go with because it just naturally contains less of a chemical throughout the plant as a whole we tend to see less of it turn up in our actual physical cucumbers themselves. One thing you may want to look at, because I've been getting a lot of DMs about this, it's just that time of year again where people are starting to ask me why they have no female flowers, and it seems like they all have male flowers. Jessica from Arcopia, if you're watching, this is the answer to your question as well, because you're like, I always have so many flowers but no fruit. It actually is likely because you have a lot of male flowers but not a lot of female flowers, and you can counteract this by getting again they're not gonna be these aren't gonna be heirloom they're gonna be hybrids or something that's been uh, bred to have these characteristics but you can get get ganaceous uh, plants or seeds and this simply means it has the cutoff marker in the world of horticulture is 70 percent or more of the 70 percent at a minimum of the flowers will be female and up to 100% depending on obviously the strength of that genetic phenotype in the plant itself. So ganaceous plants are plants that have a high volume of female flowers and a low volume of male flowers. But ultimately that is a choice you could make. So you could go with burpless, ganaceous, and you'd have just a ton of cucumbers <laughs> that wouldn't be bitter in nature. The other option, if you didn't want to go with the burpless, because they can be maybe a little bit more expensive, would be to go for something that is early. Early meaning it produces fruit that is harvestable earlier in the season and has fewer days to harvest. So cucumbers days to harvest can range anywhere from 50 all the way to I've seen as high as like 110 for some of those really exotic ones but you want to go for something that's closer to the 50 or 60 uh, day mark and the reason for this is because of the environmental factors that actually cause this cucumber to become bitter now ultimately it is a stress factor that causes this bitterness so things like heat or high exposure to sun is what causes the plant to become stressed out. And that's when that bitter toxin actually leaches into the cucumber itself and it slowly works its way to the end of the cucumber. So that taste is actually located between the rind of the fruit and the fleshy part. So if you had a bitter cucumber and you really wanted to eat it, you could just remove the skin and just a little bit of that inner flesh. And technically speaking, you should not be able to taste that flavor so long as you haven't really put off the harvesting of said cucumber. So let's talk about what it takes to ensure that those cucumbers never actually become bitter regardless of the variety you planted. And the number one thing is actually reducing stress just all around. So ensuring that your plant has a constant source of moisture is going to be incredibly key. Moisture will help the reduction of flower blossoms falling off, in particular those female ones we want to keep around, as well as just overall root and plant stress. So when we're referencing a continual water source, we want to make sure that 
If our soil is dry up to two inches, then we begin to water again. That means if our soil becomes dry up and around that one inch mark, if we dig down to one inch and we see it's dry, it's time to water again. The reason for this is because cucumbers don't have a necessarily deep root system. There's no inherent tap root on these plants and they tend to reside near the soil surface. So if we let the watering go for too long, then that plant will become stressed out, which will ultimately help increase that bitter toxin in the plant, which will then re be re redistributed to your fruit. So number one is, is ensuring that you're watering correctly. The second thing actually comes down to heat and sun exposure. So I did a whole video on heat and sun exposure. So if you want to go check that out, you can for a few more tips and tricks in regards to this. But things like shade cloth will help or actually trellising of the plant will help as well. This is particularly true if you're not using mulch. So if you're not mulching your soil surface, it tends to be very, very warm. And this is also true when you are growing in containers or in raised beds or near cement spaces where the uh, cucumber is physically going to trail out onto cement or asphalt, which can be inherently very warm. So trellising upwards will allow for proper airflow and cooling of that plant rather than keeping it stuck to that soil surface, which actually restricts airflow, ultimately causing just the ambient area around that plant to be a little bit higher than it would if it was trellised. Fun fact about that toxin, in Chinese medicine, they've used that toxin in the past to cause purging. <laughs> so just a heads up there, it is actually toxic to us uh, in high, 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 high amounts. So just if you taste it and you're like, oh, don't, don't force yourself to just Give, give a different cucumber a try. <laughs> Number three has nothing to do with environmental factors and it has to do with actually harvesting your food. So this sounds crazy as gardeners, we know we need to harvest, but we tend to put it off to see if we can get things bigger or better or you know, have that extravagant supper with friends in the garden where you can show off the harvest. But ultimately, as these get bigger, they become more bitter. And that's just the nature of plants. This has more biomass in it, meaning it's going to just have more bits and bobs that make up the actual cu cucumber plant, which obviously involves that cu cucurbitacin type toxin. So this is going to naturally taste more bitter than something like this that doesn't have as much biomass and therefore hasn't had the time to build up that t really bitter taste just simply because it's less plant. So this would be the least bitter. <laughs> this would be you know, actually perfect for pickling. And this is almost getting too big. Now, one great way to tell is actually through this lighter color. So you can see it's like a light green on the front here. Now, some people think that that lightening of color has to do with nutrients. The acidity, the bitterness of cucumbers has nothing to do with nutrients. It doesn't matter what fertilizer you use, it's not going to lessen it or increase it. it the toxin itself exists within the plant because that's phenotypically what that plant needs to do to survive and it's just the way it's been designed. So no amount of fertilizer um, or compost is going to change that bitterness unfortunately, and it's not going to change this color either. This is just a very normal transition of something that's been sitting on a soil surface, exposed to light, uh, heat, sun. This has nothing to do with nutrients. It's just a very normal way that a cucumber will look. I hope this helped you guys out in ensuring you don't end up with any bitter cucumbers this year. If you have bitter cucumbers, what is your favorite recipe for actually utilizing these? I will give you mine. It is pickling but doing a spicy pickle or a spicy relish. Very odd, I know, but the spice <laughs> gets rid of or kind of counteracts the bitterness or they work together in some way. So that's my tip for bitter cucumbers, what's yours? I'll talk to you next time, bye.